All right, this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to get a name for your printer, how to custom name your printer. There's kind of two ways to do it. There's one through the actual firmware where you're actually naming the printer. Another way is just, you know, to type out the name on your display, um, which you can do through Octoprint. If you're using Octoprint, it's very easy. Um, but for the firmware wise, for not everyone in the world that's using Octoprint, you open up your Marlin firmware. This is actually easy. So it's, if it's one of those things that you're uh, scared of doing um, firmware edits, this is the kind of thing where you're not likely to screw up your printer and it's a way to learn how it all works. So again, you uh, you have to have your Marlin firmware. You have to have Adreno. Um, the minute you open up the Marlin firmware, all these tabs show up. You need to go to Configuration H. This is your basic. This is your do everything basic controller for the printer. This is ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time. If you're going to edit anything in your firmware, it's going to be in this file, the Configuration H. Um, then you're just going to scroll down and there's this place right here. It says custom Mendel name. You get rid of these two little backslashes here. Oops. Get rid of these two backslashes here. Delete. <coughs> and then you'll notice that the name, you know, the, the text here all changes colors. That means it's actually working now. It means it's actually functioning. If you have these two little slash marks here, backslash, forward slash, whatever they are, excuse me, um, that means they're hidden and you'll notice the text is grayed out. Anyways, now that it's active, you actually type a name in there, Max Headroom. And boom, that's it. Save it. Now the first thing I do is verify it. Now this will take a little bit longer than normal because I'm running the uh, recording software for this. So it might take a little bit here to compile. I'll just fast forward it. And there you go. Now, if you get an error, you do something wrong. <coughs> but you shouldn't get any errors by doing that simple thing there. But now, if you click Upload, it'll upload to your printer. And when you fire up your printer, it'll come up with your name. And that's it. Now, the other way to do it is to do it through Octoprint. And this is actually even easier. If you're using Octoprint, you can come up here, click on G code scripts after you go into the controls. And after connection to printer is established, all you have to do is type the M117 and then whatever you want for your message to come up on your screen. This will, you know, pop up on the screen as soon as the Pi and the printer are communicating and you're done save it that way when you start up your printer the message will show up and that's it that's all there is to it 